Rats, every time I think we're done, we have reviewed every head strap for the Quest 2 that Amazon has to offer. Something new comes out. Let's see what E. Wallos has to offer. Now, I would get the unboxing knife out, but this thing took such a beating in shipping. I don't think that little bit of tape is gonna slow me down. This is E. Wallos Quest 2 Halo head strap, and they're saying that they've done something just a little different that makes this better than all the others. QR code for a YouTube video. Ah, so one, this comes with its own silicone cover. Even though Facebook's offering to send you your own free one, this gives you a whole nother one just in case. It's got a lot of smell to it. Whew. So similar to most of the other halo straps out there, this is looking to put the pressure on your forehead and not on your face. Ooh. The ratcheting gear in there feels really solid. It's very loud when you tighten it, but when you're opening it up, you can feel every tooth in there. Like it feels strong. It's got a little different design. The padding is super thick and it's memory foam, they say. It's uh, really quite squishy. I'm not sold yet, but we're gonna find out. So once you get this on, it moves really, really easily. A little too easily, I don't love that. It does come with a top strap for the middle, but I judge Halo straps pretty heavily on whether or not you need them, because in theory, you shouldn't need it. They advertise this as a flexible back support. I don't see how that's flexible. It is rock solid plastic. It's there, I can feel it touching on the back of my head and offering some support, but it's not, it's not flexible in any way, shape or form. That fact right there, that, that bugs me. It is way too easy to move this around. If someone didn't know what they were doing, they could push this out. And if you didn't choose to have the strap on the top like I'm not using now, your whole quest could fall off. So this is one halo strap that I would say you probably actually should use the top strap. It does include some extra thick pads. So in case you wanna add more padding in there to make this thing slip a little less, I would definitely recommend doing that if you were to get this one. Beyond that, it does its job like any other halo strap. In fact, I gotta say, this is so similar to other halo straps that I've tried before on the channel, but I would say if you're looking for a halo strap, it's not the Bobo VR. If this one's cheaper than the other ones, you could get this one. If this one's more than the other ones, you could get the other ones. The Go MR VR is a really common one that is almost identical in design to this. I do feel like the extra thick forehead pad is a nice addition. So I do like that about this. My only qualm with this one is like I said, these move way too easily. So you definitely need to install those other pads, but it does still stay stable on my face. If I push it in, it's fine. It's just like every other Halo out there. So I'll leave a link in the description actually to a couple of Halo pads. And then if you decide, oh, I want a Halo, I would just pick whichever one is the cheapest, unless you want to go for the Bobo VR, which I still think is the best Halo there is. Not everyone's head shape agrees with mine. Thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with me here today. I appreciate you being here. I hope the videos are informative and helpful. I will see you in another reality.